Hello, sports fans. Are you ready to dive into the latest and most intriguing developments in the world of NFL free agency and contract negotiations? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, we're unpacking the ongoing saga around Stefan Gilmore's free agency and exploring the potential seismic shifts from C.D. Lamb's looming contract extension. What could these mean for the Dallas Cowboys and the league at large? First up, Stefan Gilmore remains a free agent, stirring up plenty of speculation about his next move. At 33, he argues he's still got plenty left in the tank. Could a reunion with the Cowboys be on the cards, or is it time for fresh blood in the defense? Then, we switch gears to talk dollars and catches as we delve into C.D. Lamb's contract situation. With record-breaking performances and a shifting market, just how high might his price tag go? We've got expert insights and a breakdown of what it all means for the Cowboys' future. Are you intrigued? You should be. Stick around for in-depth analysis, expert opinions, and all the behind-the-scenes action you love. And hey, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Your support helps us grow and keeps you updated with the latest content. Let's aim for that 9,000 subscribers milestone together. Ready to get into the nitty-gritty of these exciting developments? Let's kick off the discussion right now on Cowboys News TV. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated. Today, we're diving into the ongoing saga of Stefan Gilmore's free agency and what it might mean for the Cowboys. Hello, Cowboys Nation. The offseason is heating up, and a big question looms over our heads. What's happening with Stefan Gilmore? The former Cowboys cornerback and two-time All-Pro is still on the market, and his situation is drawing lots of attention. Last season, Gilmore was a cornerstone of the Cowboys' defense, stepping up especially after Trayvon Diggs went down with an injury. With 68 tackles, 13 pass deflections, 2 interceptions, and a forced fumble, his impact was undeniable. In a recent chat with NFL insider Jocelyn Anderson, Gilmore opened up about his free agency. Despite his age of 33, he believes he still has a lot to offer. He mentioned, if I was 28, I would have been signed by now, but I know the value I still bring. So, what do you think, fans? Should the Cowboys make the moves necessary to bring Gilmore back, or should they focus on developing younger talent? Vote bring him back or focus on youth in the comments below. Here's a look at our salary cap situation and the areas on defense that need reinforcement. Balancing the budget while maintaining a competitive team is always a challenge. As the Stefan Gilmore saga unfolds, let's also explore the other potential options for the Cowboys' secondary. With the draft just behind us and rookie minicamp underway, new faces are looking to make their mark. The Cowboys have brought in fresh talent through the draft and undrafted free agent signings, hoping to bolster a secondary that showed both promise and areas for improvement last season. These young players are hungry for a chance to prove they can step up and fill big shoes. We've caught up with some of the Cowboys' defensive coaching staff to get their insights on the development of these rookies and how they envision the secondary shaping up this season. They stress the importance of versatility and adaptability in their game plan. Thanks to the coaching staff for their input. It's clear that while the veterans like Gilmore provide leadership and experience, the growth of younger players is crucial for the long-term success of the team. Looking back over the years, the Cowboys have always emphasized a strong defensive strategy. From the doomsday defense to the modern era, adaptability and depth have been key to navigating the challenges of a demanding NFL schedule. Here are some memorable moments where the Cowboys' defense made crucial plays that defined games. These highlights not only celebrate past successes, but also set a standard for the current roster. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of the Cowboys' defense in action? Maybe a game-saving interception or a critical sack that turned the tide? Share your stories in the comments below and let's relive those glorious moments together. As we continue to follow the developments in Stefan Gilmore's situation and the integration of new talent into the Cowboys' secondary, make sure you're subscribed to Cowboys News TV. 
we'll bring you all the updates from the preseason, detailed player analysis, and much more. Before we dive into today's discussion, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Today, we're tackling the Cowboys' unique offseason strategy and what it means for our championship aspirations. Hello, Cowboys fans. It's been an offseason filled with more questions than answers. Despite significant departures and a restrained approach in free agency, the front office remains optimistic. Let's break down the moves and the mindset at the star. This offseason, the Cowboys have seen key players like Tyron Smith, Tony Pollard, and Michael Gallup depart. Even with these losses and the retirement of Leighton Van Der Esch, Dallas has been relatively quiet in the free agent market, bringing in just a few names like Eric Kendricks and Royce Freeman, and welcoming back Ezekiel Elliott. Despite the changes, Executive Vice President Stephen Jones remains bullish about the team's prospects. He recently remarked, we've won 12 games three years in a row, which is right at the top over that period. We're hanging around the rim, we just need to dunk it. This basketball analogy sums up the Cowboys' belief that they are just on the cusp of greatness. To help us understand this strategy, we've brought in NFL expert Chris Taylor. Chris, can you help us make sense of the Cowboys' approach this offseason? Is this confidence in internal development justified? Thanks, Chris. It's clear there's a strong belief in the talent within the organization and that the right internal steps can lead to postseason success. However, with the team not having reached the conference championship since the 1995 season, some fans are understandably restless. What do you think, Cowboys Nation? Are you confident in the team's current strategy? Hit Y for yes if you believe in the team's direction, or N for no if you're skeptical. Cast your vote in the comments below. Here's a look at our record over the past three years compared to playoff results. It's impressive on paper, but the ultimate goal remains elusive. This juxtaposition really puts the hanging around the rim comment into perspective. As we gear up for the 2024 season, stay tuned to Cowboys News TV for all the latest updates, in-depth analysis, and more. We're here to cover every snap, every decision, and every game. As we look ahead to what promises to be a pivotal season, let's turn to you, the fans, to gauge the mood across Cowboys Nation. With all the recent changes, the optimism from the front office sparks a wide range of reactions. Here are some of your thoughts and opinions shared on our social media platforms. While some of you share Stephen Jones' confidence, others express concern over the lack of aggressive moves to strengthen the roster, especially when comparing our offseason to those of teams like the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's delve a bit deeper into this comparison. The Chiefs have consistently made bold moves to bolster their squad, which paid off with back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. On the other hand, the Cowboys have taken a more conservative approach, focusing on development from within. This strategy raises questions, is patience really the path to a championship, or is a more aggressive approach needed? To put today's discussion into historical context, let's look back at the Cowboys' postseason performance since their last conference championship appearance in 1995. Despite regular season success, the playoffs have often told a different story. This timeline highlights the ups and downs over the years, showing just how challenging it has been to convert regular season victories into deep playoff runs. Each year, hopes have been high, yet the desired outcomes, those crucial postseason victories, have remained just out of reach. Now, looking forward to the 2024 season, what are your playoff expectations? Do you believe this year's team has what it takes to go deeper into January, or are further changes needed? Let's take a poll, click deep run if you see us making a significant playoff impact, or more changes needed if you think additional moves are necessary. As we continue to analyze and prepare for the upcoming season, Cowboys News TV will be your guide every step of the way. From preseason analysis to in-depth game reviews and everything in between, we'll keep you updated with all the critical info and expert insights.